It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Arizona Cardinals, and it comes your way next. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. Uh, CD, big changes underfoot here in the desert for 2023. Most notably, new coaching staff. But I guess change seems inevitable when you come off a 4-13 and season, does it not? Absolutely. I think you're perfectly on track with that. And I think some of the change is going to be on offense where they were a little more wide open. But now, a bit more buttoned up, I would anticipate. And on defense, head coach, that's his background. I think he's going to throw a lot of different things at teams trying to keep his team in contention. Meanwhile, for the visiting Ravens, I think everybody seems ready to turn the page from 2022. A tough finish down the stretch. Some wacky plays in that loss to the Bengals in the wild card round. They just want to reset and come out swinging in 2023. Oh, I love how you just expressed that. You're exactly right. Reset and come out and play in Ravens football again. And look, they had some anxious moments in the offseason. Now, a sigh of relief. They have their key pieces in place. They're ready to attack. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And off we go on EA Sports. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. The Ravens offense set to go to work and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. All the talk of Jackson leaving the Ravens this offseason was just that. Talk as the two sides hammered out a deal that made the highest paid player in the NFL. And why would they want to separate? When he has the ball in his hands, great things typically happen. Jackson looking to throw right away. And incomplete to open things up. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. First carry now for Gus Edwards. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, and his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they run with Edwards off the option. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Nice run defense presented there. And what I mean by that is discipline. The guys filling the right gaps in the right holes. No one over pursuing and making a very nice play. Here now second and nine from the 39 yard line. They run once more with Edwards. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Now Jackson. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by a seventh-year pro and a literal rocket scientist. Here's Joshua Dobbs. The secret to his game and his success? Incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they'll be hard to beat each and every ball game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they certainly came out firing in this one, and while that one was incomplete, I can't imagine that'll be the last shot that they take in this game. Second and 10. Now Dobbs. It's brought in by Wilson. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's gonna be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a very nice game there. Confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44 yard line. Powerful running. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Give him 16 yards there and it's a Cardinals first down as well. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper and second down. Now that's what he can do you know, when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. Back to throw Dobbs. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Everything looked right on that play except the conclusion. He dropped it. An in route going into a little bit of traffic. Maybe in the back of his mind, he was wondering where the hit was going to come from. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Dobbs. Finding more on the out route for the completion. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best pick. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. 
There's a handoff out of the gun. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing here, Dobbs. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And the Cardinals are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. First and goal at the one. On play action, it's Dobbs. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. All right, everybody in the house had to figure that was going to be a one-yard plunge. I know I was fooled. How about you? Yeah, absolutely. I had to readjust my eyes when it was a play fake. Good job defensively, though, to not bite. Too bad that didn't end the series. They still have to hold in there. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Dobbs. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Cardinals will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now a 7-0 game. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 35 yards the gain there. Another first down as well. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now it's Jackson. He finds his target, Beckham. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Second and eight coming from the 19. Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. Even with that broken tackle, he'll be brought down short of the 15. 
two yards on the pickup there. And now third down and six to go. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Jackson will throw again. And he's got it. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. From the two now, second and goal. Edwards is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. This for Beckham, and he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. They'll come up now third and nine. To throw his downs. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Sacked there by Jadevian Clowney. 
Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the Scrambler or the Dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. Fielded at the 43. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return. And this offense will take over right at the midfield stripe with a first and ten. Play action. It's Jackson. And this is into the hands of Andrews downfield. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Seven, seven, our score after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and 10. Play action. Now Jackson. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Here's Jackson. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Gus Edwards are what he was looking for, and now it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when I left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Tucker now following the main field goal set to kick it away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. The Cardinals on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble and now fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. 
but I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 right at the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Trying to get it to Beckham and it's intercepted. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And down by a field goal, they'll take over with excellent field position following the interception. On first down, Dobbs to throw. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. At the 17 yard line. Second and five. Dobbs is throwing. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Quick hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Dobbs to throw. I uh, had a man over but he missed him and it's incomplete. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. From the left hash, this from 34. Prater's kick is good and that will knot us up at 10. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Peace as the kicks away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. And the offense for the Ravens returns to the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, Jackson. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It's Saban Collins who got in there to get the sack. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in his first half. But this time, they're able to hem him in. 
And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you got someone to tackle him. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. Officially, and it will be first and ten as they take over. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Here's Dobbs to throw. Dancing to his left. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. The plan was clearly to challenge them by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by evading the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, Dobbs. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here's Blake Gillikin now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Great to see Edwards back doing what he does best. Mr. Dependable for the Ravens' backfield. He's faced injury woes the last two years, missing all of 2021 and almost half of 2022. But back at full strength now, he can be a load. On first and 10, it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Third and two, here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. And they needed two, they could only get one. Fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Here's Jordan Stout now. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher 
the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Dobbs. Quick slant to Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. Some think that teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. The Cardinals on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and eight. Now Dobbs. Going up top. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I'm looking at this with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. This is a way, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Jackson on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Odell back at that time, but it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now a third and six. Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to give the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. To throw again is Jackson. And that one to the right side and incomplete. Now he was looking for Rashad Bateman there, and that'll bring up second down. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Good enough for the defense for me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. To throw is Jackson. They set up the screen to Hill. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now 
Out now is a punter, Jordan Stout. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Well, the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Dobbs. And he's got the hook up to Moore. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They give to Ingram up the middle. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a couple on what should be the final play of the first half. So we have reached halftime here at a good one. 10-10 is our score. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They are all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and more he's going to sit on this one and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line so here's the cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter it's a tie football game here what do you think charles the message was at halftime well i think that they probably just looked at things and said we're fortunate that this is a tie game no need to panic no need to change a whole lot we didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Here's second and seven now from the 28. On play action, it's Dobbs. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, give him credit for trying, but there is no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run and then execute it. From just shy of midfield, here's second and nine. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. 
A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Time to tighten up the seatbelt just a little bit, partner, because that was a safety that crashed in there and made that play behind the line of scrimmage. How about that pursuit? Back to throw Dobbs. That is caught. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 31. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. So this game tied at the half, and if you wondered who would come up with the first big play in this third quarter, we have our answer. Well, in basketball, you know how they tell you to have active hands defensively? I think the same thing applies here. Nice job there, prying the ball free. And now the guys have a chance to take the lead if they can put something together. The beauty of doing it in football, you don't get called for a foul if you hit their arms. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 23. And they'll run the option to start the drive. Down the numbers. There he goes. He's on his way. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Well, we've certainly seen this before, CD. No one can quite electrify a crowd like Lamar Jackson and really don't know what else to say other than that was special right there. I think you pretty much said it all, but I go back to what you said about electrifying a crowd. He's also electrifying us, and we're calling the game. This guy is simply sensational. Tucker now for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The football going back over to Arizona now. Right now, they're on the wrong end of the scoreboard, and that won't change if this drive ends like the last one when they had that lost fumble. So you have a feeling taking care of the football is certainly paramount right now. Yeah, and it's not just the guy who dropped it on the last drive, is it? That means everyone who might touch the ball is getting the same message. Guys, ball security, paramount. Let's take care of it. And if we do, we've got a chance to put points on the board. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake. Here's Dobbs. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. 
Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Throwing here, Dobbs. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 43. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, they'll run it here. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. the score all even to this point as the kicks away and this take it in at the goal line and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 and now Baltimore gets set to take the field well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure unbridled joy after that one now a second and ten Up the middle, it's Edwards. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. 
And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. But hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Here comes third down and seven. They stay on the ground. This time it's Hill. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. Leading this Cardinals offense back onto the field, there's Rondale Moore. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. But there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check. But he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. You get you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. On first down, downs to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. To throw is Dobbs. slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 18 on the play. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him by passing downs. On first and ten, Dobbs. That's complete to McBride. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. Here's Dobbs to throw. This will be caught by Brown. He's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Dobbs is throwing. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold through the contact brings up second down in the red zone precision is the watch word if the throw is a little too early too late maybe off a little bit going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one and that one falls incomplete phoenix arizona is the spot glad to have you along for the ride third quarter action and a second and ten upcoming he's got mcbride here over the middle they do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. 
Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Here's Dobbs to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Raiders kick is good and with that they take the lead here 20 to 17. So in the end they had the ball for 10 plays but the drive gets them three not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10 play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line. Made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10 play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. A big seam and he might go all the way. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called a sack. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a really difficult task. Eight yards here, so that gets them back within striking distance. And now it's third down. Jackson. And that one too wide and incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. The Ravens send their punter out now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time and they're up. But th and that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cardinals. A big play there. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Extra point good by Prater, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter.
Here's Prater now set to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Devin Duvernay. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Ravens. And that big fourth quarter return, Charles, makes this a one-score game. And now it all comes down to philosophy. All right, they just had the big return for a touchdown, so the momentum is high. Do you want to ride that and go for two? Or do you just go ahead and kick the extra point and cut back and rely on your defense? Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchback and bring it out to the 25. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Dobbs throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. And how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one, able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Dobbs. Downfield. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. Owe, one of the most gifted athletes coming off the edge in the AFC. The key for him, translating that athletic ability into consistent production. Hasn't quite unlocked it all yet. Only three sacks last season, but the potential is immense. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. 
What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. The Georgia man, Roquan Smith, came in and got him. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now Dobbs. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's more. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 14. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Off the middle, Ingram. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Out of the gun, Dobbs. This is caught. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Back to throw. Dobbs. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondé Moore. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cardinals are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Prater for the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. Here's Jackson to throw. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's able to get this one up to the eight yard line this time. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it's going to be third down and forever. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. 
A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. That's going deep for Bateman. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Here we go, it's Jackson on fourth down. And able to catch it, but he's out of bounds. And the throw took him beyond the sideline, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Here's second and goal, operating from the eight-yard line. Dobbs. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Operating from the gun, Dobbs. That's to McBride, and he has it. Touchdown, Cardinals. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Cardinals are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. You got to figure down by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. Now he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, They've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now second and five. Jackson now. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. is Jackson and that is incomplete another pass attempt another incompletion you, you figure defensively you're in the fourth quarter here you've held the team under 100 yards passing you've done your job especially in today's NFL which is truly a pass first league and they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down so trailing here in the last quarter let's see how this plays out They'll run for it. It's Edwards. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Trying to hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards, 
well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Now it's Jackson. And there was a good opportunity just went around right there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. From the gun, Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Jackson to Andrews on that one. First down, Baltimore. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Jackson on first down. His throw incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, so a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. And Jackson throwing once more. He'll go underneath, dropping it off to Edwards. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Jackson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 29-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. And they'll try to squeeze in one more play here before the two-minute warning. Now Jackson on first down. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Ten more there and another first down. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right? Your Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stays. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. To throw is Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's a second and five. Now it's Jackson. And quick throw here, that's complete. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. It doesn't matter where on the field he is, even down here in the red zone, he is still slippery with the ball in his hands. And he was almost able to work his way into the end zone. Instead, they'll have to settle for first and goal, but they'll take it. Now Jackson. And it's caught. Only a yard of the completion. It's second and goal. Oh, 
Here's Jackson. There's Flowers. He's got it. Touchdown, Ravens. The three-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. gun they give to Ingram. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. If they want a first they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. They'll run again. And the Cardinals are going to have a first down. And that's a big one, as they should be able to run it out from here. the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Uh, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ballgame. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything 